and we're live okay guys so it's been a while since i've done a live stream now i want to keep this very short but i'm always going through the list of everything that can cause you problems with doing these low carb diets and i thought well let's talk about how to be successful at doing these diets now squeeze me I just came back from the ranch. I still got dirt under my nails with my horse. And I just sat down, grabbed some water, and I was like, let's just do a quickie right up in here. So um, Sarah, Carnivore Yogi, and myself have been doing, and this better be public. I think it is, but it doesn't say, oh, now we got people in the house. All right, we're good. You guys want to say hello? That would be great so I can see the comments coming in. And if you guys have any questions or comments, let me make sure this is, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, so, is it Kit and Caboodle? Thank you. So I wanted to talk about, uh, so I, I uh, talk a lot to uh, Sarah Carnivore Yogi and her journey. And she interviewed me, then she actually booked a consultation unbeknownst to me. Hi everyone. And then uh, we became friends and then I'm, I'm starting to see her evolution. And so I'm very inspired to talk about what you do wrong on doing these low carb diets and what you do right. So let's first distinguish what they are. Because a lot of people keep thinking that low carb is keto and low carb is carnivore. Well, sort of it is, but sort of it isn't. The real LCHF, or low carb high fat, or as the Swedish say, LCHF, involves plants and starches like yucca and parsnip and sweet potato, low levels, and uh, jasmine, jasmine rice or white sticky rice. And hi everyone. And we use these types of starches to slowly acclimate ourselves over to trying to be ketotic. So with that said, um, the reason why I have people stick on doing, let's say starches is because they're having hypoglycemia, thyroid problems, or their gallbladder is just going F you. Ah, uh, thank you, Jan, it's Jan or Jan, thank you. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. Thank you for the 50 donation. I wasn't thinking about the super chat, but I'm always so grateful because, you know, this is people's hard earned money, especially through the whole Sharona uh, question. Let me see. What are your thoughts on the new research about ketones? Feeding? This is not new, honey tree, Miss tree. This is old and it's not true. So don't listen to this is old. This has been going that conversation has been going on for like six years. So, um, so if you're trying to hear heal from Candida, you are SOL. If you are trying to heal from candida and trying to be ketotic, now, ketones do not feed SIBO, nor do they feed candida. This is 100% a myth. People have been bringing this argument around for the last six years. It's a myth. Way past that now. Actually, a lot of people see improvements with their spore count, with the candida, albicans, the different strains go down. Their SIBO go down, their gut dysbiosis begin to balance. So just don't listen to any of that. Um, I think these are anti-keto types of organizations that try to find something wrong in this. Hi, Toya. Um, so yes, potatoes are pretty high in oxalate. Now, sweet potatoes, something you could take for the short term. They're high in fiber, so they have less of these anti-nutrients in them than, let's say, white potato. Um, Yes, so the pollen has everything to do with your gut. So to be successful at all these things, a lot of people are dealing with these, like people do keto, they used to. When I started doing it, I went to help my mom with, uh, who had a glioblastoma and cancer, she survived it and they gave her one less than 1% survival and I started helping her with her diet and I started preaching to everyone, blah, 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 and here I am today and I, 13 years later, solid, done, one done, I'm not going back, and people try to say that it's dangerous to be ketotic for years and a bunch of nonsense. I actually look younger now than I do freaking years ago. Even when I ate carbs, I look younger now than I did before at almost 53. But forget this study of, it is probably some rat study. Just don't, just 
this might be new to PubMed, just ignore it. Just ignore it. We have to go by not these studies. I don't know the study. I don't know if it's double blind. I don't know if it was on rats or not. But I know for a fact that people's guts are healing on ketones, especially mine. Especially mine. Uh, chia, people have a histamine reaction to chia and less on flax seeds. High in fat, not unless you squeeze out the oil, but they're mostly fiber. Now, let's talk about the success because people on the replay have an absolute meltdown. Thank you, Miss Tree. I'm sorry, I can't send more, but it's okay. No, thank you so much for the tenor. I really appreciate it. I do. Uh, so let's talk about how to be successful. First thing is be careful on these studies. What person was this done on? What types of people? See, it's hard. These studies are very difficult, right? You're always going to come up with different data because you would have to take people with similar, similar microbiome. You would have to track their lifestyle. They would have to be in a facility for four months, four, four to six months around the same age, similar outlook on the gut, similar health, uh, similar way of thinking before if they were breastfed, if they were, had saxinations, like all of these things matter. Okay. So if they use, if it was animal trials, forget about it. And, uh, cause they're not going to be in ketosis ever. Um, not ever, but it's going to be very unlikely that they're going to be ketone, um, types of machines. And even with humans, it's not natural to be constantly ketotic because we would have honey in nature. We would have um, a certain type of root vegetables. So, yeah, so sometimes I have, just to know the difference is that people are eating uh, carbs on low carb, high fat. They're eating starches. And I, I recommend this for people who've got hypoglycemia, semia, and you'd be surprised how many people either have chronic or reactive or post preandial hypoglycemia, meaning they react after eating food or they uh, just chronically are crashing because their insulin and their glucagon is no longer in balance. You'd be pretty shocked. Uh, now with that said, I'm sorry, I don't know what, what you meant by this comment of SOL. Um, Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take these questions in a second, you guys. Now, so have people stay on carbs until they can balance their blood sugar or they're trying to work out the sludge in the gallbladder or if they have no gallbladder to be taking uh, ox bile until, and trying to eat their food slowly and getting their stress down and sleep chill until their biliary system duct can find another place to hold those salts without a gallbladder. People... Uh, who've got hypoglycemia and can't blood, manage their blood sugar or insulin resistance and they do keto and their blood sugar is just trying to do keto, they don't adapt. So they have a physiological insulin resistance rebound effect. Now this is very rare, but when it happens, you know to notice it that you do keto, you're not eating carbs, but your blood sugar is over 100. So I might stick people ironically on low levels of car low carb, higher in fats, but not necessarily ketotic, until you can get your exterior life organized. People have to get their sleep, their exercise, their breathing, their stress, everything, their posture, you name it. Because even sitting, poor posture in a chair can create that slump and that C shape in the upper body, which you have a hard time not clearing out estrogen out of the liver and then the gallbladder. And the estrogen, unfortunately, the metabolites can be of the bad source of the total metabolites in the liver and start to clog the, the, the uh, kidney and create problems with the gallbladder with uh, too much estrogen, even down to the way that you sit, having to clear out that excess estrogen or those metabolites from estrogen or estradiol. Okay, so you, you, um, you, you uh, fixed your hypoglycemia on keto but are struggling with a carnivore. So carnivore has to be ketotic. So if you just make it a ketogenic version of carnivore, it should be fine. Um, with that said, if you're going to do keto omnivore, that's with plants, right? So you've got the cruciferous type. 
and some people react to the cruciferous type. So people with low carbohydrate fat who've got hypoglycemia and candida, you're kind of, oh, is that what you meant, SOL? Yeah, oh, that's what you meant. Because you're gonna have to address the hypoglycemia first before addressing the candida or you won't lower that spore count. Because if your adrenals keep reacting because you're hypoglycemic, the candida spores will continue to just explode out of you, out of your JJ, your mouth, your tongue, between the fingers, the nails, the toes, everywhere. So you can't have a lot of adrenal uh, adrenaline pumping through the adrenaline and cortisol because that will not lower the spore count. So you might have to do low carb and then might you might have to use things like uh, uh, monolaurin, which will help, which is if you, if you don't have a coconut oil sensitivity, the lauric acid in there will help lower the spore count. It's really effective with uh, candida. Uh, coconut oil uh, pulling or also oregano oil drops could be um, uh, advantageous if you don't have a histamine response to the oregano oil. Now, let's say you do that for about five, six weeks and you start to get your sleep and everything, the lifestyle in check, boom, you start to notice the blood sugar starts to balance. So it can take six weeks, it could take three months. Then you're like, I want to do keto omnivore. So you drop out those starches and now we're going to go from about 120 to 150 grams of fat up to, and especially if your gallbladder is uh, cool, you're going to go up to 200 in fat and you're going to eat the cruciferous type and you're going to cook them because they got goitrogens, they've got like all types of stuff, phytic acid and they've got, uh, some of them have got oxalates. You got to be careful of all that. Um, I don't know what you guys are saying you too. Yeah, they are uh, monolaurin or they look like coconut oil in little beads, literally. Like when you put them, when they're hot, they melt. It's just like coconut oil. So. Uh, somebody's asking, what are they? They're not pills. They're just, let's just raw. It's just coconut oil. So which is very minimally processed. So that's cool. Now, um, okay, so I got to handle Ria's comments in a second. Now, carn, so you've got the cruciferous fat. You got to make sure you don't have a histamine response or mast cell activation or have any goiters going to be eating the cruciferous vegetables. If you do, you might want to take them down and just have like a cup a day. Now, some people might use that cup a day to keep the prebiotic fiber in their gut, even though fiber is not really good for the gut. It's good, not good. Confusing. And good, good, not good. It's uh, not good because it's kind of rough on the, the colon uh, and the large intestine, but it's, uh, it's bad because of that, but it's good because of the prebiotic fiber, uh, which I think is why a lot of people who go full carnivore have loose stool, but this is me guessing because nobody knows yet. Some people think it's bile production, excessive bile. Some people think it's uh, not having enough prebiotic fiber in the gut. But um, if you lower the amount of cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables, that can be advantageous when doing keto omnivore. Now, keto carnivore is high fat carnivore diet get rid of all of the plants unless you're having a potassium issue then you'd be an avivore which is an avava uh, avava it's an avo avocado carnivore which is what i am right i'm a i'm an avivore which is i do a hundred percent carnivore except for an avocado for the potassium because one of the failing failing points, which Sarah and I are talking a lot now, is about not having your electrolytes in balance because it can damage your heart, it can damage your body, it can damage your kidneys to not have the cells nice and hydrated over time. Because that's what the that's a part of what our electrolytes do by getting enough of the right minerals, which the main ones to be in doing these low carb diets would be sodium, uh, sodium, magnesium, and potassium. Now sometimes people also getting calcium, which then people do fish calcium, fish bone calcium. Now there's a company called Calcio. They have a good, um, I guess, desiccated calcium in powder form in capsules. Uh, now, the how to be successful is, do you have hypoglycemia? Because if you do, please start off on carbs. I used to say just do keto overnight, not anymore. 
because people are just full blood sugar, drop blood, blood sugar. Now, if you guys are obese, overweight, fatty liver, we got to address that liver because if the liver is not functioning properly and you're doing a ketogenic diet, you're not going to be able to make a very successful ketones. Now, it's not going to cater to your fatty liver, but you won't be able to be in ketosis and then that will cater to your fatty liver. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Oh, what's up, my girl? What's up, sis? Yeah, yeah. Now I told y'all this is my sis going on right here, and uh, I already mentioned her, and she's also in the show notes. If you guys want to go to her channel and subscribe, because uh, we are learning a lot from each other, and we've become amazing good friends through the whole Sharona. We both need somebody to talk to, especially both of us as influencers online, trying to help women. And men, figure this shit out. Now, uh, Sarah, if I use her as an example, because she is my inspiration for this live, which is talking to her daily and finding out what things work and what things don't work. So she is starting to realize that, you know, nobody wants to be, well, most people who are carnists, don't want to be full carnivore. They do it because they're having some type of inflammatory or histamine or mast cell activation or hormonal issue eating plants. And so therefore they do carnivore to heal the body and it has to be done properly. Uh, but they want to go back to some plants every once in a while, right? Or add an avocado in or have some cruciferous vegetables here and there. And she started trying to add things back and she started, excuse me, having problems with sleep. And then us, and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, nope, I've got to still just be strict carnivore until that gut wall begins to strengthen and your body starts to produce the right, um, uh, the right equipment like uh, enzymes to break down histamine, which is obviously diamine oxidase. And then when that gets sussed out, then all the other symptoms like, um, you know, what is it? ADH, the antidiuretic hormone she and I speak a lot about. A lot of people who get up to pee are low in ADH, and that could be because of that mast cell activation, which is going to be a lot of histamine, which is going to be a lot of cortisol, which is going to lead to crappy sleep, and all those hormones are all connected. And so to be successful, go to bed early. To be successful, eat some organ meats. Make sure they're fresh so you don't have a histamine response to it. To be successful, get your freaking electrolytes on point. I can't stress this. All these garbage keto products, and I'm sure not all of them are, but probably all of them are having a lot of chlorides, right? Chlorides are not good for the kidneys, especially, and here's the irony, you're having um, electrolyte imbalances and then which can dehydrate the body, which can affect the kidneys, and then you're taking chlorides on top of it. So sometimes I don't think that things are well thought out before people say, take this all together product. So to be successful, let's try to get stuff from real food. Let's do meat broth, which is pretty sizable amount of potassium. You can get from two to 350 milligrams of potassium from meat broth because in meat you have potassium, but we don't want to have to eat gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs of meat to access the potassium. And that's why we do meat broth, which is not cooked as long as a bone broth. And then you got to freeze that stuff right away to be successful. So you don't have a histamine response to the bacteria, bacteria growing on that broth, which does happen with people who've got mast cell activation where their mast cells are just pumping out histamine. They feel like shite and they don't know why, which often can be a cause of a weak small intestinal wall or some type of ascending or transverse inflammation in the colon. And those things must be addressed. A lot of people do cheats or they still drink coffee on carnivore or keto, or they're still drinking the alcohol. There's these message forms of like, you know, you can have alcohol once in a while and do targeted or cyclic ketogenic diet. No, you cannot, or a cyclic carnivore or keto version of carnivore because you're going to confuse the body. It's trying to adapt, but you keep adding carbs back in. So you start to develop develop physiological insulin resistance rebound, blood sugar starts to climb back up or become dysregulated. Now the fasting, you want to be successful, don't fast. You guys have been doing consultations and I'm going to hit those questions in about five minutes or comments. I've been doing this coaching for a long time, more than most of the 
of the very well-known influencers out there. And when you work with people, game changer in comparison to these studies that are subjective. Game changer, because you actually can access real people, real stories, real lives, real individuals, and you start to see like what, okay, I wasn't breastfed. I wasn't vaginally birthed. Then you start to see things like eczema, mast cell activation. Uh, people have had vaccinations. Yes, with a V. Uh, you can see things from people who drinkers or drug abusers. You start to see uh, weak gut walls in these types of people. Um, you start to see people who've got hypochlorhydria. So what do you do if you've got hypochlorhydria? Well, you could do a lemon water or apple cider vinegar if you don't have mast cell activation or SIBO. Uh, these things can activate those microbes to get crazy cray cray. Um, no electrolyte drops. Get your potassium from real food. The only thing that you should actually get that is supplemental is magnesium because our soils are destroyed from over farming. And so that's what we get from, uh, um, oh, somebody told me, let's see, I need to make my girl a mod. Darn it, I can't hear. I need to make you mod on my own time. Who is, let me see. Let's see this person. You're recording under blue light, which is just as bad for you as sugar. No, it's not. Is that, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Literally. Like, you do not, and here's the thing. You know why this is a dumb comment so I don't become a typical Stephanie? Because when somebody says you're recording this under blue light, hun, the sun is blue light and it's still daytime. It's just dumb comments. And it's just, see, people want to challenge you because I, I guess I sound too authoritarian. Um, and it's just as bad as sugar. So how does that happen? Do you get advanced glycation end product from blue light in the daytime? Mm. So yeah, she's trolling. Yeah, um, poetic justice, it's still daytime right now. It's still sun outside. I mean, it's just dumb comments on top of dumb comments. Like, for real though, yes. And it's like, how much blue light is on me? Does it have a filter on it? What lights out right now? All right, so I'm gonna get back to you guys. All right, poetic justice is gone. Thank you, was it Ryria? She's gone. So we're back to answering questions. <clears throat> so yes, if you wanna be successful, don't fast because a lot of people fast to lose weight, but they don't look at what their existing health is. So when I explain to people about not fasting, I'm like, if you're gonna fast, make sure that you don't have a thyroid problem. Make sure that you have a really good freaking sex hormone production. Make sure that you don't have any adrenal insufficiencies, any Addison's disease, anything remotely, inverted cortisol even. Make sure that you don't have a blood sugar dysregulation. Make sure that you don't have hypoglycemia because if you fast with any of these conditions, fast equals crash equals destroying your hormones. And because I have uh, consulted so many people over the years, then you can see crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of uh, hair falling out. I become constipated. Uh, I lost weight, but now I can't lose weight anymore. Thyroid becomes, uh, the T3 drops and becomes underactive. Uh, people don't understand why the crash or the poor sleep happens or they'll lose a lot of muscle through too much gluconeogenesis. <laughs> They're still good in the light. It's so funny because uh, everybody uses technology, phones and computers and everything. So we're not living outside in tents. Even with a uh, light from a fire is not natural. So it's, it's, it sounds like this person's trying to split hairs to get attention. If I show you guys really quickly, 
that's the daylight. See that? That's talking the sun is still out. Oops, shit. Okay, see that? That's somebody splitting hairs when they're like, the light's on you. You're not, you're like, you're getting blue light on you. And I'm like, I know. All right. By the way, that's my photography. Okay. So there's no blue light on me now. Big difference, ain't it? Get this back on. There we go. So I'm going to take your guys' questions. So fear six and we, we ain't talk about that. I've already covered this subject of the, you know, the stuff that's going on today, but this ain't going to be one of them. I'm just saying. All right. Hypokalemia, are, are, are you having problems? How do you avoid it? Do you have hypokalemia where the water, the cells don't absorb enough water? So what's going on with your electrolytes? I need to know more, Toya. She's a Karen. <laughs> They're all called Karens now. <laughs> Anybody who's triggered is called a Karen. So I need to watch myself while you be calling me Stephanie Karen. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to some of these questions because there are some really great questions out here. People on the replay, it's answering questions time. Okay, uh, let's see here. I can't give up coffee. Yes, you can. You can do it. I know you can do it. And I'll also again, thank you, Miss Tree. Yes, okay, somebody asked if rice is okay. Now, some people have a thing called, um, it's called cross reactivity. So if they couldn't tolerate wheat, now they can't tolerate tolerate rice. So you're gonna have to do a lot of experimenting. That's what this is all about. I don't care about the stupid studies. You have to experiment. Try something if you're trying carbs. Try it for a couple of days, and then uh, let's say if you try rice and you feel bloated, itchy, nauseous, headachey, um, mucus. Uh, crash, tired, take it out. If you feel fine, keep it in. Uh, it's the same thing with meats. People have got histamine uh, responses to meats or fats. I can eat pork, but I can't eat beef. I can eat beef, but I can't eat pork. You'll know because you won't feel right. You'll get headachey. You'll get tired. You'll get mucusy. You can't sleep. These are histamine uh, reactions to foods that you're, and everybody's different. Everyone reacts differently to the different foods. Do you feel feel forced eating keto kind of food or is it just mindset thing? Um, I think a QW, it depends on like my goal was uh, pretty hardcore because it was to get my mom to do keto to not die from cancer. So it was very easy. I was like, okay, well, I don't want her to die. So I'm going to do this with her. And that's uh, was it made it was very easy. And then once I did it, I was like, oh, this isn't that big of a deal. And then when I started continuing to do it, and once I tweaked it, then I was like, oh, whoa, like I'm anti-aging. Like I remember I went to go visit my mom once and I had a tank top on like this. And my mom goes, oh, you're getting wrinkly. See that? That's that's the skin of a 53-year-old woman. She's like, oh, you're getting wrinkly on your chest. I was like, oh. and I, I was like, it was, I had noticed it as well. And when you, you know how your mom, your mothers always point out stuff that you're trying to hide. They're like, what's that on your face? Um, and I was like, oh my God, she's right. But then after a couple of years of doing keto, it, it all went away. Like the skin, 
And it's like being brown, people who are white don't understand. Yes, black cracks. Not as much as white, but it does crack. Yes, it does, especially with uh, your body oxidizing and getting too much sun exposure combined with poor food quality. So no, I don't feel forced at all. Um, you see, I healed reactive hypoglycemia with keto, but not cook. So with carnivore mystery, take that, take that, don't eat the two. Carnivore um, uh, gurus or whatever you want to call them, are always saying eat as much protein until you're satisfied or eat a lot of it and so then people do and then they're not ketotic and then they have electrolyte issues and you don't know the difference between like the the swelling from having like not enough potassium and too much sodium or they start gaining weight because they have that physiological insulin resistance rebound because they're just pounding down all that protein or they're developing reactive reactive hypoglycemia so not not everyone's the same especially with women, our bodies are very freaking sensitive. And I think a lot of men don't understand how easy it is for a woman's body to go like this or for our bodies to just go straight left. Um, let me see, by the way, I'm, I'm morbidly obese and have been my whole life turning 60 in two months. Whoa, Shannon, hopefully you're, I don't know where you are on the spectrum of trying these lower in carb diets or carnivore or high fat carnivore or ov ovivore. But uh, if I knew that, it'd be much easier for me to, um, you know, give you some tips and all that stuff. Now, before I forget, because I just remembered, like up the stream! Because a lot of people have a hard time finding me um, because I'm a little bit controversial because I don't say what you guys always want to hear, but maybe what's better for you guys to stay healthy. And, uh, Yes, and my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic, so go there because I'm always posting stuff. I'm in the new Thrasher magazine. Oh, let me show you guys. I'm really excited. Hola, la, 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 la. See you guys? I'm in the new Thrasher. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, that's got to be a YouTube blooper. I fell, you guys. Apes. <laughs> oh lord have mercy good that i'm an athlete okay. Oh, okay. i'm back <laughs> i literally like sat down and the chair went like that so let me show you guys real quick so, of course, it's the black issue, which I don't really love, but I don't care. 30 years ago, I was in Thrasher Magazine. Top first black chick pro skater ever in the, the Tony Hawk days. I'm in here somewhere. It's a new episode. It's a new. Where is it? Where is it? You guys can see my boys in here. I'm going to take your questions, I swear. Boom. See? Boom. That's what's up. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Look, 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 guys. I'm so excited. This is when I was like, I think it was like 19 there, 16, 17, 19, I don't know. There, and then, uh, see, there's my boy Thunder. See my boy Thunder? It's my baby. Don't look at my black fingernails from just coming from the ranch. See, see, there's my horse. Where is he? Oh, I love him so much. Oh, my baby. So you guys, 30 years ago, I was in Thrasher. 30 years later, I'm still in Thrasher. I'm so excited. Okay, back to you guys. Enough of me. <laughs> oh, shite. Oh, <laughs> Miss Tree's like, that's why I love you. <laughs> I am so not antiquated, like with the white chalkboard and like trying to write it all out and Okay, let me see. How do we build muscle while doing keto or you have to exit? What? Okay, so I build muscle. I build muscle, even though I'm working out my apartment. Because <laughs> um, I live in Cali and it's a freaking mess here. Uh, that's why I'm moving out of it. Yes. Bye, California. Uh, you build muscle by being insulin sensitive. When you're insulin sensitive, you no longer 
are eating your own muscle to fuel the brain, okay? A lot of people go through a process called gluconeogenesis too much. Now, we all are going to go through gluconeogenesis because our red blood cells need freaking glucose and a little bit in the brain. Otherwise, we can use ketones. And when you're not ketotic and you're doing these low-carb diets, keto, low-carb, high-fat, keto, omnivore, carnivore, high-fat, carnivore, if you're not ketotic, then the body will choose to take proteins anywhere to fuel the brain, and that means skin, right? Collagen. This is 50-something. Okay, this is 50-something here. We got it. Um, collagen, uh, bone marrow, it robs from everywhere. There's proteins, and you start to see crepiness and all this stuff. So to build muscle, you have to get to sleep between 9 and 12 because that other person who was a troll was like, that Karen <laughs> was like, you have the light on and you need to follow circadian rhythm. That is true. You have to, that part of it is true as far as, as far as following a circadian rhythm. I got to see how my foot goes because I like, uh, I uh, fractured, no, I cracked one of my metatarsals because I, I had my horse step on my foot because he fell. That's another long story. He fell and he was like this and he tried to, it was on the side, cement or no, the sidewalk. No, the street. And they had just painted it and see so he went boom. And I was like, oh no. He tried to get back up again and I put my foot under his hoof to give him traction to get up, get up. And then he cracked one of my metatarsals. So that's probably why I had no balance. I don't know. Anyway, so you build muscle by being insulin sensitive and by being ketotic. So therefore you become insulin sensitive. That means you need less insulin to get protein into the muscle. So the, the muscle will grow as well. Yes. As being not being catabolic. You're more anabolic when you sleep because you go to bed in circadian rhythm. Okay, let's see here. Can we, okay, I can't recommend leaving Kelly highly enough. I did it a year and a half ago. Yeah, Miss Tree. So the reason why I want to leave California is because of all of this Sharona. And somebody said, and I, I call it Charada Rona. They're like, did you? Did I hear you say Charada Rona? And I'm like, yeah. Um, hit the like button. Sally says yes. Um, I have a genetic disease that causes collagen gene defect already. Yikes. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if being in ketosis would help that defect in any varying degree because glucose can create a thing called advanced glycation end product, which is the damage of your cells, which is why they believe people have disease and heart attacks is the cells get sticky and misshapen. They're, they're not, they start dying off, right? The, the actions in a cell. So it'd be very interesting to know how your genetic disease is being ketotic. Uh, what's up, Jackie? Yes, you made two lab broadcasts, honey, because I haven't been live in like a month. Uh, does, does sugar in cruciferous vegetables, veggies do any harm? No, it's so low. You know, it's so low. I mean, there's not really sugar in it, right? It's just carbohydrate. Uh, call it Sharona Rona. I call it the Charada Rona. Don't get triggered, people. We all have a right to our opinion. Okay. I love you, Terry Jackie. Love you, Stephanie. Get out of LA at least. Uh, yes, I get out of LA because I have a horse. Well, I'm in LA, but I'm in the mountains, right? I go to the mountains every day. And I'm with my horse, and there is, I feel free as a bird. Y'all want to see? I was riding my honey child today, people. But then I might have music on my stuff, so let's see. Did an interview. Yeah, Stephanie Pearson. Oh, this guy did First black uh, sponsored female skateboarder that any of us were aware of. Look at that photo. Okay. Pure joy. So yeah, check Pure out joy. Out. Let's get to my horsey. And I'll answer your guys' questions. You guys, go to my Instagram. Stephanie Ketogenic, where every day, today I was talking about the liver, I think. You have to test and find out. But on that note, I got to go to my boy Thunder. Let's see here. Oh, no, 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 no. Darn music. Okay, let's see here. I'm not. Okay, so look, look at him here. To run up this hill. Yeah! Yes. <laughs>
Sorry, guys. I love my horses more than the live stream, so forgive me. Oh, oh my horse. Yes. Okay. Um, Nico says, I've uh, been following you since 2015. Did keto with, wow, oh my God, homeless in a van getting my uh, BA in electrical engineering, finally making money. Wanted to show, aw, some, some love for all the advice. Thank you, Nico, to me. That's what's up. Thank you so much for the, the donation to the Super Chat. 2015 is right five years ago. You know, it's weird. Five years ago feels like yesterday, and then five years ago feels like a lifetime ago. Because five years from now, after the charade of Rona, we're going to be missing those days. These, well, before it all went down. Uh, he looks like a paint. He is technically not a paint, but he looks like a paint. Does that make sense? He technically is not a paint. Um, he's a Tennessee Walker. Hey, he's just so cute. I can't. It's so cute. Under. Can you have a kiss? Mommy is it upside kiss? down? Oh. Here. Ah, kiss. Ah. <laughs> One more. Kiss. Kiss the phone. Kiss you. Ah. <gasps> He's so cute. I can't. Okay. Thank you, Miss Tree. Okay, let's see here. I love your velvet. I love the velvet nose, right? He, he's got that. He's a Tennessee walker, so he's got a big head. So his mouth is, he's very mouthy. Not mouthy in a bad way, but he's like, anyway. People who don't have horses are like, girls, sh shut up. You see, what can uh, you suggest for diarrhea? I've been carnivore for the past 18 months, cured my diverticulitis, but diarrhea is bad. First, we have to establish, are you having any histamine response uh, to the meat? Uh, second thing is, um, yeah, he's so cute. He's a very smart horse. It's a long story. I res rescued him from a dickhead. And uh, and he will never, ever be mistreated ever again. Um, and he's very smart. That's why I was like, okay, he's healthy. He's smart. He's got good feet. He's got good teeth. He's mine! Okay. Because um, all those things matter with horses. <laughs> and he doesn't crib. Okay, do you recommend OMAD? No, OMAD is just... D OMAD means... I need to come up for an acronym for destroy your mouth. Or mouth uh, sorry. Help! On OMAD. Eating one meal a day when you've got adrenal issues and blood sugar dysregulations. Because we're modern humans, we don't just sit in a hammock and read a book. We go we work out, we go to our jobs, we do this, we do that. We're eating one meal a day and ping. And then with women eating one meal a day, the worst. Hair starts falling out. And gurus, I will say this, I've, I've said it before. Gurus don't always tell you the truth. Because you can't make money if you like, oh, I feel like crap today. I can't even get out of bed. Like, you know, I've got a yeast infection or I gained weight or I'm swollen in the ankles. Whatever. They ain't going to tell you that. So... You know, we got to be very careful. Okay, you're getting quite a bit of sun, vitamin D. Yes, yes. Look at this. For, wait, can you guys see that? People think that black people can't tan. It looks, that's a tan, okay? I am getting so much. I don't like it because I look like a zebra everywhere now. The legs got to catch up to the arms. Like, girl is tan, okay? Anyway, um... Yeah, one meal a day is not good. Are you, are you stating that one meal a day is not good? I have to go, Steph. Oh, sweet Thunder, I shared the live and I will... Uh, thank you so much, Cam. Or Cam, Cam, Cam. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're saying that one meal a day is not good. Uh, do you, oh, yeah, it's good. It won't, right, yeah, you're just... Because the Adele... Uh, person who carved low through life, can they have extremely low... Okay, let's, let's read this slowly. Okay, if a person keeps carbs low through a life... Can they have extreme longevity? Definitely. Because we were never designed to eat processed uh, carbohydrates at all. And all of our plants have been genetically twisted and, you know, manipulated in some fashion by being hybridized, selectively bred, or just modified 
So what's natural is I think asparagus. There's a few plants that are just natural, natural in their state. Every, otherwise, they're all like Frankenstein. How do you get fiber on keto? Importantly, if you're doing keto omnivore, it's easy to just do cruciferous vegetables. If you're not doing keto omnivore and you're doing carnivore and you're doing all animal stuff, it's connective tissues, it's bone. Those are all have a matrix in them. It's all fibrous. Uh, you can That's where you can get your fiber. Collagen and all this. But like I would do like oxtail and and I would take, uh, I would desiccate uh, uh, um, uh, the, the, the collagen or the uh Fish bone, fish bone, calcium is also a matrix of fiber. Let me see, what can you suggest for diarrhea? Uh, diarrhea. So, oh yeah, so diarrhea, you can uh, try an avocado if you don't have a histamine reaction to it, if you don't have a latex allergy, or like I said, do the matrix of animal parts, tendons, bone, collagen, all of that is fibrous which should help your stool or go to cruciferous vegetables. Any keto, what is Sarah doing up this late too? Okay. Does any, uh, any keto advice for those of us with chronic kidney disease? Yes. Um, now I have had only one person be very successful with kidney disease, but I've only had one kidney disease person that had like lower than uh, 40 GFR filtration. And, uh, this individual did very well on keto. Now, um, the problem, problem is, is that people think keto is high protein. Now it's supposed to be high fat. It's supposed to be 80% fat. Um, eating very low to moderate protein is very good for the kidneys, right? Because the problem with people with a low GFR or lower than 40, they have the, the, uh, waste products enter the kidneys and kidneys can't filtrate it and the blood can't be filtrated properly. So, uh, my advice is to make sure that your electrolytes are on point because when you stop eating carbs, you're going to drop a lot of, uh, uh, of your, make sure your minerals and your electrolytes are on par. When you drop a lot of water, you tend to drop some of that balance of your electrolytes. So get, make sure that you get enough, uh, potassium. If you're doing keto omnivore, you can do avocados really, really high in potassium, like really, really good, especially the large ones. Any keto advice for those of us? Okay, I read that. Um, and make sure you drink enough water and get enough rest and to adapt by getting enough fat in. Um, Jackie says, hi, how do you know what histamine response is? It's different for everyone. Yes, so it can be bloated. It can be puffy face. It can be puffy legs, hands. It can be itchy, itchy scalp, red scalp. It can be mucus chronic infections, sinus infections, farty, it can be um, tired, heart palpy, headachey, achy, joints ache, can't sleep, like, but that could be a bunch of other ailments as well. But you notice like you'll eat something and then like two hours later, you're getting like blisters on your face. You start to feel heart palpy, headachey. That's how you know. Um, oh, stop spending your money on me, but thank you, Miss Tree, who writes, uh, let me see, she writes a little more to say thank you and more coming when we have our consultation. Yes. I sent you a message via website. Thank you and bless you. Yes. So I am organizing like I'm Miss Tree. The reason why I don't know if you're on my short list or not, or if you actually booked, but I don't have a lot of dates up because I have a newly rescued horse. So for example, today I was there for five hours. I tried to get there as early as possible and now I'm doing a live stream and now it's 6.30 at night. And so when do you, you know, and yeah. I had a consultation this morning though. Yeah. Uh, do you recommend blood tests for sensitivities? Yes, you can do, uh, they, I think they do a, Actually, they do a skin prick. They do blood, and they also test it on your skin. Um, but yeah, I would do that absolutely. A blood test and a skin test, and then I would go by your symptomology. Let me see. My mom has stage four kidney disease. I helped her as much as I could. Now it's all at three, at a three. Oh, it got a little bit better. Oh, Cam. Oh, that's yeah. It can. I think that your kidney function can. 
uh, improve when you get out the carbohydrates that are cre creating the advanced glycation end product. A lot of people with kidney disease are going to have a lot of pre-existing diseases that led up to that. And I'm sure blood sugar dysregulation is one of them. Processed food on a person with kidney disease. Also knowing what types, how much protein to be able to consume and getting those fats up. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, for Hashimoto's, I need, wait, hold on, it's going fast. How about OMAD with bone broth? No, first of all, bone broth has glutamate, no, oxalate, no. Uh, other than that, and if you have a, a histamine response to any of that, it's not, it's a cluster frack. Um, you don't, don't count calories on keto, Adele. It's like, there's, I mean, 500 calories from cookies and 500 calories from eating, uh, sugar or ice cream or candy which one's going to make you fat the steak or the ice cream it's how the body breaks it down the insulin the estrogen blood sugar that's what makes you fat hormones not calories uh hashimoto's throw it together wait wait um omad is so horrible it is so bad for you uh you have a blood sugar dysregulation hypoglycemia you have problems with uh, estrogen dominance and then you try to do one meal a day and watch all those symptoms go down the drain and get worse the body needs gasoline to drive the car if you're not ketotic where's your body going to get the energy from it's not going to get it from fat or else everybody would be shredded with abs you have to friggin burn muscle and when you start burning muscle you start to have autoimmune disorder Hashimoto's, I need to throw together uh, my own AIP, Mediterranean keto type diet. There's no such thing as keto type. It's either low carb high fat or it's ketogenic as in ketotic. Okay. I bought books, but the, forget the books and forget the recipes. They're absolutely garbage. Garbage. People keep calling things keto. To be in, uh, ketotic, your body must use ketones as its primary source of fuel. And most people are not adapted or they're only adapted certain times of the day. They're not consistently adapted. So forget those books and stay right here on this channel where there are thousands of videos to get you nice and straight. If you want to learn more, you can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, or my Facebook. These are all free content, which is Stephanie, the business person. And if you want to be in my cheap course, which is too cheap, 15 bucks a month, you can go to Stephanie person. Dot com. Now, do you want a car with that or uh, some French fries? I got to go, guys. How long have I been talking? Almost an hour. Okay. Skin tests can be useless. My daughter has allergies. Well, thank you, Kate. Kate, Lee, Kate just said don't do skin tests. Uh, we corn and yet she didn't show up on the skin prick. Now, with me, it did work. I had a skin prick test and it did pop up, especially with grass. So maybe with food, it's not as good, but with allergens out there, maybe it is. So I don't think it's completely useless, but maybe not as good as blood. Bone broth, glutamate, and tons of anxiety. Yeah, so people, like, certain things just become trendy, just like keto became trendy, and then carnivore is going to become trendy, and they'll all die because people do it wrong. Fasting's become trendy, and then everybody's hair is starting to fall out and having thyroid issues, um, infertility issues from fasting, menstrual cycle going, Pew! From fasting or eating one meal a day, squash and zucchini are high in carbs. Yes, they are for keto to be ketotic. But on low carb high fat, great. Uh, all 40 male, I'm see, 40s male did low carb for a year, lost 30 pounds, but also a lot of hair respiratory problems and got worse. Where do I start? And this is exa exactly, wait, where's this person who's got a strange name? LT, well, oh, L Tiger, Tiger Blue 46. So this is what I'm talking about. Male in his 40s, low carb for a year. Lost 30 pounds, but a lot of hair. That's the thyroid. Respiratory problems got worse. Yes, that is cortisol. So when you're not adapted and you drop the carbs and you're eating almond butter and you're drinking coffee and you're eating cheese, what's wrong with that? Everything. And you're doing these things, you're eating these keto garbage junk and all this stuff, and you're, not, you're eating too much protein, not enough fat, People start to have thyroid issues, which is what this this man is talking about. Tiger, L, L Tiger Blue 46. I did Tiger, but there's no ER. Roar. Yeah. Cauliflower, cabbage, and broccoli, and asparagus. I rotate them. Okay, good. Yep, those are the cruciferous type. So if you got a goiter, don't touch them, but you don't have a goiter. Okay, why do I get bad breath and body odor with keto? I'm doing it for too few carbs. No, 
So it could be ketones leaving the body. So with the, with the, with the, and it can happen. You can get some, I got a little fresh under the armpit in my first year, but it went away. Uh, the bad breath should go away as well, as long as it's not gingivitis, but it's probably ketones. And so the best thing to do is oil. Oh, it's, it's coconut oil and oregano oil pooling. Google it. Great for the keto breath. And you might also be dehydrated, poor electrolytes, chronically dehydrated, and bacteria grows. I was super stressed for six days, fell off eating carnivore today. Any advice? Um, yeah, I mean, I always say that people who are stressed live in the past. You know, like, oh, you're thinking about all the stuff you're worrying about. You know, what we have like 26,000 thoughts a day and 99% of them are from thing, something from, thing, from the past. I always try to do forward thinking. Like, what do I need to do tomorrow that was different from yesterday? What positive things in my life that inst instead of making it look so, so such California is going down the freaking toilet. So I'm like, I'm out, deuces. It's a sinking ship, guys. I'm moving. Is that stressful? Yes. But I see it as something positive. So I just wait to see what happens politically, and then I decide on that. Oil pooling is awesome. Yes, I don't eat them either, only leafy stuff. Okay, I don't know what that was from. Do you recommend taking DIM as a supplement? Thanks. Uh, what, do you have estrogen dominance? Have you lost your period? Are you having hot flashes? Uh, some people do well on DIM. It's broccoli uh, for hormones, sex hormones. Some do not well. The point is, short term, get off. I don't like people to stay on supplements. Um, let me see, come to Texas. That's what I'm thinking of doing, but like Texas is looking a little blue and you know, I used to be apolitical, but not anymore. Um, I used to think Mr. T was the devil, but not anymore. Um, thinking of going to Texas, but like, I want to live near hill country because I, I can't be on flat. I got to be near hills because I ride my horse up and down hills, obviously. Um, so I got to wait to see and, uh, got to wait for the housing market to crash. Sorry guys, but I have to wait for it to crash so then I can get a house with a ranch with acres. Uh, my T3 is low. Yes. Should I add carbs like rice? Sweet. No, you don't have to do add rice because you have low T3. You just have to do a proper ketogenic uh, protocol. So I would say book a consultation with me or get on my short list to get you in on a consultation or join my course or just something or watch my actually watch my videos that's free um but to get your t3 up it's like you might have to eat every couple of hours especially fat load to get over 200 grams of fat you have to go to bed extra early you got to make sure your electrolytes are on point with your minerals um that's how you keep the thyroid from dropping things like liver organ meats are really great because you're gonna get the vitamin d e a and k you're gonna get vitamin c for the the protein, uh, the T3 going on to protein globulin, get into because it can rob all the T3 and get it to unlock and go into the cell uh, with uh, vitamin C. You need vitamin D, selenium, and zinc, copper bounce to get actually the, the T3 production and on docking onto that protein globulin. Uh, PA has, Pennsylvania has what? Lots of hills. Honey, I ain't do no cold. Hell to the nut! No, 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 no. It's too cold. I lived in Sweden. I lived in Europe, y'all, almost 16 years. Tak så mycket. Sverige, det var bra. Men nu, jag kan inte tala ingen mer. Jag kan inte tala eller ta kallt väder ingen mer. Absolutely not. After living in Sweden, I'm scarred from cold weather. I'm really sorry. So I can do Texas cold, but I cannot do Pennsylvania cold, honey chow. Uh, uh, I'd be there in two seconds because I could get a good property right away. Uh, carbs made my legs get swollen. Yes, so it may not, may not be the carbs. Uh, well, I mean, for every, it depends on the carbs. If it's cruciferous type, it could be something else. It could be histamine. If it's from starches, it could be the one gram of carb to the, you know, 1.8 to four grams of water that your body holds on to. Guys, there are 93 people in the house. Don't forget to like up the stream because this here, you know, 53 year old big mouth, but very humble person. Uh, it helps this freaking stupid algorithm come to Arkansas. Mm. I mean, then I might as well go to Tennessee where my mom is, right? Eh, I think in Texas, 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 New Mexico. 
Flagstaff, I don't think it's this, because I can't deal with that hot either. I have become the very sensitive human. Bad. Let's see here. Um, I know you don't like tea, part of, uh, but Pau de, Par, Pau de Arco is really great for fighting candida. But uh, people react to peppermint. Dandelion is good. Pardo Alco is really great because most teas uh, have a lot of mold and mycotoxins on them, especially on the bag. So uh, Pardo, Pardo Alco, I know I'm saying it wrong, is better. Now we got to be careful for the tannins because they rob you of iron. So some of you women who are iron deficient, be careful from drink, drinking too much herbal tea. Come to Salt Lake City. But that's cold. Ooh, it's cold in Salt Lake, ain't it? And it's hot. Right? It's hot in the summer. I don't like it when it's hot. I don't like nothing over 100 degrees. How do I know? Because I was at the ranch today and it's 91 degrees and I was like, I am exhausted. No. When it hits 100, I'm done. I'm fried. And I don't like it when it gets under like 39 degrees at nighttime in the winter. I'm a biatch. Okay? I'm a wet weather sensitive biatch. Okay, Texas might, wait, say may look like it's turning into blue. Exactly. But that's just the media. True. Trust me, we're not blue. I know, I was like, what happened to don't mess with Texas? But you know what? I'm not going to be living in no, no Austin, Texas. I'll live on the outside. Give me a red county, okay? I never thought I'd say that in my entire life. But I am straight up red, y'all. Y'all need to be too if you want to sit and have your longevity and livelihood and hopefully not get a vaccination. Let me see. Develop uh, flesh tone rash behind the ears. No, it sounds like candida die off. Tiffany, I don't have details, but that's what it sounds like. Do you think carnivore can heal candida? Now, candida is, um, they are spores. They are like this. They latch on. And you can't get rid of them. You can just lower them, right? My vaginus used to be an explosion of yeast. Now it's devoid of all yeast. Because when I go to the gynecologist, there's no yeast. Yes, uh, because of keto. Uh, and then there's these stupid studies that say it gives you more uh, uh, yeast overgrowth, which is obviously not true. But as soon as you have a grape, that stuff comes right back. So I'm good. It's hard to kill off the biofilms that protect candida. Um, what? I cannot. I have lived in different environments. I cannot live in cold and hot anymore. I'm done. Um, my ass is 53. I lived in the North Pole of Sweden. I lived in Europe almost 16 years. No, cold weather. I hated it. Hate it. it. Uh, I would say how long should one supplement with BTNH cell? I would say just one bottle worth. Just, just one month. Why am I losing muscle mass on keto? Because you are doing it wrong. You're not keto adapting. You're going through gluconeogenesis. I don't know what your blood sugar is. I don't know what your insulin is. I don't know. I don't know your age. I don't know your activity level, honey chat. I don't know how much fat you've eaten. Sorry, you guys don't really see it silly. Um, I don't know the details of your life. So therefore, it's very difficult to say why. But a lot of people don't adapt because there's a lot of things. You got to go checklist, 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 a lot of experimentation, a lot of rotation of food, messing with macros, all this. But New Mexico is blue. I heard that. I heard, no, 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 I heard it's a swing state. Miss Tree. Miss Tree. It's a, it's, it's a swing state. I'm not moving anywhere yet, you guys. I have to just wait for everything to, because you know in the winter, it's back. It's back. The boogeyman is back. And then we'll see what happens after the election. Then we'll see what the real estate and the economy. And then I'll be sitting here pretty until it happens. And then I'll know where to go. But for now, you know, I don't have kids, you guys. And I live by myself. And I just have one big, huge boyfriend child, which is my horse. So that's the only thing I have. And without him, I think I would go crazy. Because like here in, uh, well, here in LA, in Hollywood, um, I, I, I get sick to my stomach to see the amount of uh, sheep, sheepery. The, I can't. I cannot. I went to uh, Best Buy yesterday, and I had to wait 30 minutes outside. And these, like, 
I felt like, and you know, and every single person had a thing on except for me. And then, cause I'm healthy, thank you. And then we went into the shop and then everybody had their stuff here and not over their nose. What about your eyeballs? What about your nostrils? I'm still so you guys. I was like, the guy helping me behind the counter straight up had it here. So what, doesn't that defeat the purpose? Okay, of, of what the, their ideology is? Okay, hi, hi, you guys, I gotta go. Okay, hi, Stephanie, thank you for the videos. My sister is doing keto and having itchy legs. That's candida die off, most likely. I mean, itchy skin could also be an autoimmune disorder, but it sounds like candida. Hugo. So she got to address the candida die off and it takes a while. It should go away unless she keeps refeeding and then it, the spores come back. It's all, and doesn't get sleep. Cortisol will make those spores go crazy and not adapting, you know, and gluconeogenesis can make the spores go crazy. Okay. I tried to make an appointment on your site it shows that you're not available at all. Lovely D. I know there's a lovely T go to my website and email me. And I put people on a list because I will be opening up all new dates. You will see. It's been hard lately because I've had to finish this Dr. Berg thing that he wanted me to do and just a bunch of stuff. And then having a horse is completely, but that horse was abused. He was a mess. He was dangerous. He bucked people off, but he is a teddy bear now. I can't with this one. Okay. Let me see here. When that re that requires like yesterday, I mean today, I think he and I spun in a circle in the street probably 20 times. Cause he doesn't like to stand still. And I'm like, you stand still. Oh, you want to, you want to go without me saying go. Okay. Then we spin another circle. Okay. We're going to spin in another circle. Okay. And then when they get so pissed that you're spinning them in circles, they're like, mm. then they stop and they just stand there. And I'm like, good boy. Good boy. Anyway. Okay. Texas Hill country is beautiful. I live in by various ranches, right? That's where I want to go. Plus if I'm in hill country, I might be a Jessica. I might be away from, you know, Jessica, if you want to email me, I'd love to talk to you about that area. Um, but it's pretty red. And plus they, Texas won something about uh, forced, forced HPV vaccinations. So they might be able to fight like the other stuff too. We'll see. We'll see who gets voted in. Let me see here. Uh, BJ doesn't like me. Of course, I'm, a, I'm I'm Stephanie. Where have you been? Stephanie's been obnoxious for a very long time. Wow, a bit obnoxious. BJ, are you a Karen? Can I not just have fun? I've been working my ass off, trying to answer questions. I barely make any money doing this. I barely have any affiliate programs. I don't sell you a bunch of lies, but I'm obnoxious. Living in a in a shoe, what is it? A shoebox apartment because I didn't go put my lovely ass. Let me be obnoxious. Okay. I could where, where is it? Here we go. I could put this lovely ass. You see that ass? You see that? Whoop. There we go. You see that 53-year-old booty? All right. I could be like a lot of people and just constantly
Are you guys still there? My, I, when I fell, my cord hit the, uh, is it still going? It's still counting. My, the, uh, uh, I hit the power cord and it pulled out and then my computer crashed, but it's still recording. I can't believe it. Thank you, mystery. What I was trying to say to you guys is if I really wanted to, I would go and show my body and I would say, follow my weight loss program and, oh, come on with this stuff. I would say, follow my weight loss program and lose weight in 90 days and I'd be a millionaire by now. I never sold out. I never pushed the OMAD or the intermittent fasting or the keto porn food. I never did any of that. I went against the grain a long time ago. I didn't put my little 53 year old plump booty on camera and in bikinis and do weight loss. I didn't do any of that to sell keto and <clears throat> people don't get my sense of humor. If you don't have fun doing this, there's no point. You're not going to help anybody by being, um, you're not yourself. You're, you're, you have to be your organic self. You're funny. I love the truth. Bring, I've been doing this kind of work for two months and it's transformed my life. Exactly. And you know, you guys, sometimes I'm in a, in a silly mood and I, I don't feel like being serious. I feel like just being myself. And this is the mood I happen to be in today. And, uh, I'm not trying to be rude to anybody, you know, because if I say charade of Rona, who cares? It's like, it doesn't mean anything. That's what she said. I was like, that's why you're the real deal. I think that's the thing. It's like people, there's a lot of Karens out there trying to change who you are. Miss Stephanie, you're amazing. I adore you. Ah, oh, thank you, self. Thank you. Peace and blessings. Thank you, beautiful Miss Tree. Thank you. Um, my, my energy is not directed at anybody. It's literally, you know, I can't see you guys. It's just having fun. And I think that once we lose that ability to enjoy ourselves, you know, I can't say charade Arona, uh, without somebody being triggered. So if you're, if everybody loves you, you're, you're not your organic self because no, not everybody can love you. Need some coaching, but I'm in New Zealand. I heard that New Zealand is really strict with borders today and that they make you like isolate you for two weeks and then like, it's a horrible isolation. Okay. Will HCL help me eat one? Um, so if you're having a histamine response to butter, no. But if you're having low stomach acid and you're burping up acid, then yes. Um, see, to, to th thine on self, to, to thine on self be true. You are perfect the way you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, BJ, yeah, I mean, I can be perceived as obnoxious or I can be perceived as fun. I can be perceived as a jerk. I can be perceived as caring and loving, but, um, yeah, this is the mood I'm in today. I'm really in a silly mood. I felt like hey, I haven't been live. I don't have time to do it, but why don't I just go live and talk a little bit about how to make this thing better. And also what else to act ridiculous about my horse and act silly or else it's no fun for me. All right, guys, thank you so much for putting up with me today and those who get me, get me and having some fun. And uh, I just wanted to go live and talk to you guys for a little bit. I hadn't been live in so long just because I don't have any time. And uh, we all live serious lives. We all have serious things happen. We all have death. We all have issues with finances. We all have issues with relationships, our health. Um, we all are just trying in these days. But uh, I always say to people that the truth, the truth, you guys, is very clear. But a lie is always going to confuse you. So it doesn't matter if it's people making it easy to, like, lose a lot of weight or do intermittent fasting. And then, like, you do it and it doesn't work for you because everybody's making it look too easy. Or with Charade Rona or with whatever, I choose to look at things differently and more critically. I've learned that through doing keto that I have a lot of people going to doctors and naturopathic doctors and they just get turned out the wrong way and their health gets worse and they get really, really desperate and then they come to me. And so I'm always saying to people, 
You don't have to believe me. I actually don't give a crap. In fact, I want people to challenge what I say and do their own research. Uh, there's a lot. That's what I've done. You know, I'm just an autodidact. I love to learn about the body, so it came quite easily for me. And I love people, so it's a good combination. I love to be healthy myself. But it's really important that you guys learn how to do not take shortcuts on your health. Don't believe the hype. And anything that's a lie is always going to confuse you. And the truth is pretty damn clear. That's what I say. Oh, did I see obnoxious and I read it wrong? I'm sorry, BJ. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, BJ. This is what happens when you go on too fast. Note, slow down, Stephanie. I'm very, very, very oh, anxious. You were anxious, anxious, anxious. Sorry, so sorry, BJ. <clears throat> I'm the David Goggins. Well, since I'm older, older than David Goggins, he's the Stephanie of the running marathon world. Because I used to be a pro skateboarder when he was a little kid or younger. <laughs> I'm so sorry, BJ. Oh my God. You can't see the embarrassment through the brown skin. You know, I screw up sometimes. I do. And I always screw up when I'm going too fast. So that was a reminder. Check. Oh, I gotta go. I'm still thinking about how I stuck my foot in my mouth. Uh, someone asked why milk is bad for grass-fed butters. Okay, because uh, milk barely has any of the proteins. They're, they the IGF-1 factor. Uh, they create in a lot of people. They create leaky gut. They open up the gut wall and create leaky gut. It's a protein weighing casein. Whereas butter almost has almost it's like 99% fat with barely any weighing casein, and that's why. And that's only for people who actually have leaky gut who are exposed to milk will have that reaction. So I just want to say, I'm so sorry, BJ. I'm so sorry. Why did I say obnoxious when it was anxious? Oh, Lord have mercy. That must be some type of Freudian slip of like waiting for people to criticize me. And I don't, I've got to do some soul searching. And that is true. Bandera, where is that? Okay, you guys are talking to each other. Okay, guys, time for me to go. So it's, it's an hour and 18 minutes. So I feel like a jerk head. Mm -mm, mm -mm, so I asked, okay. I think I caught most of the questions. Like David Goggins is amazing, but he's ama He's just, he's different than me, right? He's different. We'll have to get David Goggins on a skateboard. Let's see what he's made up of then. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I really want to say sorry to BJ again and uh, to everyone else for sounding obnoxious myself. I think I was projecting. I was the obnoxious one. I will take it this time. I will take it. I'm the obnoxious one. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you and lessons learned and have a wonderful, wonderful everything. And I'm out. I'm out. Bye, guys. I'm taking my lumps. Trust. I always do.